this section we're going to talk about polygons and parameters. First exam, they're talking about the rectangular field had, has a length of 42 yards and the width of 28 yards. And geometric figure word problem, I always draw what it's given and see what I need to do with that. So it's a length is 42 yard, width is 28 yard, right? If fencing costs $5.25 per foot, find the cost to enclose the field with fencing. So first thing I need to do is what do I need to figure out order to fence around this rectangular field? So order to go around, let's say order to go around and fencing. This is how you're going to go around fencing that rectangular field. It means I need to find, find out the parameter of that rectangular field. And your parameter of the rectangular come from because you have two lengths and two width, you're going to do two lengths plus two width. And we know that uh, length is 42, width is 28. So our parameter comes from 84 plus 56 which is 140 yards. So that's the links. And it say, fencing costs $5.25 per foot. So this is how much that you're going to pay for food. But then what we have is the yard. So the next thing I need to do is changing the units. So order to change 140 yard into something feet, I need to multiply by, uh, because I need to cancel the yard, I need to put yard on denominator because 140 yard over one, right? This is the same as 140 yard over one. In order to get rid of the yard on the numerator, I need to have the unit yard on denominator and fit on the numerator. That way, when you multiply these two fractions, yard, yard cancel out, and my unit, the, the unit that I need, which is feet, will stay. And I need to write the comparison of unit and feet on these fractions. And we know that one yard, let me write it with blue or even green, right? One yard is equals to three feet. So that's the, that's the um, comparison from the feet to yard. And it means that you end up multiplying three into 140 which you will get 420. So 140 yard become 420 feet. And we're going to multiply that into price, $5.25, which you get $2,205. So this is how much you need to spend to buy your fancy. Now we're looking at example two, and if you're looking at this picture right here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight side. We call this octagon. Octagon means having an eight side. And the, um, the first question is asking to find the sum of the measure of the angle on this octagon. In order to find the sum of measure, we have a formula. Your formula will be 
n minus 2 times 180. Your n is going to be number of size. So this octagon, we have 8 size. So we will do 8 minus 2 times 180, which is going to be 6 times 180, which will be 1080 degree. So adding all those size, you should be in, end up getting 1080. So then second question is asking, find the measurement of angle A. So measurement of angle A is right there. And we know that angle should be same as all other angle, all the eight angles, right? This measurement should be all same. So what you need to do is from the total angle, which is 1080, you're going to divide this with eight. Gives you each angle is about 135 degree. And so angle A is going to be 135. And the last question from example two is asking to find the angle B. Where is angle B? Right here. So angle B is giving you the supramental angle with angle A, means give you 180, right? This is straight line. So then your angle B is going to be 180 minus your angle A. 180 minus your angle A. Give you 45. So last section, uh, last example of this section is finding a parameter of given shape. So basically, parameter is going to be adding all the lengths of the size of the shape, right? So this is first, first graph, I have a triangle. Triangle means three side. So basically, in order to find the parameter, you're going to add all three sides. So then you have 16 plus 10 plus 8.5. And when you're adding all that number, you get 34.5. And don't forget your uh, unit. And you're adding up those units, so it will be still yard. Here, if I'm going to add all these values, let's start from 4, so I'm going to add 4. And then 14 and then 17 and then this is the size we need to add but then not given so what we need to do is trying to figure out what this number is going to be so what I what do I know is that this one right here this is all um, right angle so this one right here is 14 and when you minus 9 from 14, that's going to be what left over is, which is going to give you 5. So you need to make sure you add that 5 inches and then 13. So go around, add all the size, 9. And when you're adding all those Length, then you get 62 inches.